Oh, that is close. <laughs> Hi. This is Sanne Otilia Philipson. And this is the second video in my four seven videos from crappy sleep to better or even perfect sleep. The first video was about surroundings, why they are so important. And this second video is going to be about mentality. About that one. Um, so, sorry, this is not a perfect video. This is just me sharing all my knowledge. Are you aware that if you don't sleep well, you might have problems losing weight? Are you aware that if you don't get enough sleep, um, not only does your nerve system not function well or properly like it's supposed to, but again, you can't lose weight, but your hormone system also works slower and slower and, and, and can't function the way it's, it's supposed to be. And that leads to stress, becoming outburned, exhausted, overwhelmed. Well, that comes ahead of that, but leads to stress, being outburned, and then leads to illnesses. Illnesses? Is that the way to say it? So what's wrong with my English? I'm Danish. I live in Copenhagen. And I'm Sanna Otelia Philipson, and I love sharing. I'm an expert in permanently self-sabotage and had the concept no more selfsabotage.dk. I'm also an expert in personal development and mindfulness and in stress removal because I used to have post-traumatic stress from the day that I came out of my mom's womb until I was about 33. And I'm also an expert in dealing with being very sensitive. Today I'm 37, so 37, I don't mind saying that, it's just a number. I'm just going to step a bit forward and backwards. Today I'm 37, and for 37 I've been so extremely sensitive. From my childhood up until today, sleeping is not always that fun, because sometimes it can be a struggle to fight. But the problem is that we, I do speak like this, so please bear with me, we mindfuck ourselves, and that is why everything goes wrong. So let me show you what the, what the first thing here is, because the biggest enemy that you have and that I have that's that one that little thing that is 70% fat well I'm going to tell you a little secret well, you probably know it but omega 3, 6 and 9 from fish Will help all your will help your brain system function better. If we don't get enough fish and omega three, six, and nine, we can develop uh, Alzheimer's and dementia and stuff like that because we starve our brain from the fat that it needs. And if you give your children omega three, six, and nine, and even take it for yourself, your weight. Your ability to, to, to strengthen yourself and to become more focused will become larger. I do hope I make myself understandable. So yeah, this is what fucks up our sleep. This is our worst enemy. So that is why the third video is going to be about mentality. Who am I? I'm Sen. And I have developed my own regression therapy technique because I used to be an expert in self-sabotage. And there I was with arthritis, allergies, post-traumatic stress I had because of an abuse, uh, um, how do you say that, abusive childhood with violence and abusement and stuff like that. So up until I was 33, no, when I was 29, I ended up in a wheelchair. I had so many um, parts of my body fractured. And there I was with all these allergies, arthritis, no mental capacity, no energy. I was just outburned. I was worn out. At 28, I had to withdraw myself from the civilization and isolate myself in a, in a house um, 
a summer residence somewhere when I where I rented a summer residence. Um, and even though I've been in the army for many many years, ten years, and and I've been doing boxing and exercising up until three times per day because I was boxing on the national team, I didn't always sleep that well. But I have one huge and important information to share with you, which I also mentioned in the first video. Your body and my body will take the sleep that it needs. Sometimes it's new moon, full moon, quarter, quarter of a moon. <laughs> it's the, 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 diff, the weather changes, the planner does as well, and as you can hear, I'm spiritual, I've been that all my life, that is why I am so very sensitive. But being sensitive I see as a strength, not a weakness. But again, everything changes constantly. So whenever something happens out there with the weather or the planets or the moon, it affects our inner system as well. Our feminine and a masculine brain and, and the, the water that we can contain of, is that the word, contain of? Because 70% percent of, the, of our body is water. So of course everything changes when it's a full moon where, every, where, the, where the rivers, rivers, are supposed to get our flooded. Yeah. This is the second video about mentality and I can't wait to share it with you. I was going to make this video tomorrow in the morning because I'm too tired today, but then again, no. I love giving. I love sharing. I love doing what I do. And again, as I said just a couple of minutes ago, and then I'm going to go up to and show you that one is that I have developed my own regression therapy technique that I use to get rid of all the sadness, all the sorrow, all the loneliness feelings, the feeling insecure, all the resistance, all the all the fears and, and, and stuff like that. It's gone, it's out of my system. And it is it's this that I help other people with today to become permanently free of their inner self sabotage. So let's move to the first point. I might touch the microphone which is standing just there, down there. And I'm wearing a dress so I can't lift my arms. <coughs> I did mention this in the first video. Um, I have a thing standing here which my shoulder is standing on. The first thing that is so important, let me, should I cover up that one? I actually forgot an advice right there. Let's go to that one first because this is so important. Uh, I do not know if you're aware of this, but if you have children, <coughs> no, I'm going to turn it around. Children need structure, discipline, and limits. When the chill, the child gets structure, limits and boundaries, it relaxes. If children doesn't get any discipline or have any structure or get any boundaries, it gets <laughs> like this and that is most, that is one of the main reasons why, why children get HDHD because they need the structure and the discipline and the, the boundaries. My childhood, my childhood was was filled with too much structure and discipline, and and it was it was rough. So I grew up being an insecure, not an insecure, but not feeling safe about who I was. My inner self was constantly alert. So that leads me to this advice. Let me just cover up that one so it won't disturb us. Can you see it? Structure. We need to go to bed at a certain time every evening because that makes our inner body and our emotions down in our belly come down. Our inner self comes down when we have structure and discipline and eat when we're supposed to eat, when we sleep when we're supposed to sleep, when we take a rest or if we go for a walk. Our inner system needs that. If we don't eat proper, properly, 
Prabha, is that the word? If we don't eat when we're supposed to eat, if we don't sleep when we're supposed to sleep, if we don't relax when we're supposed to, if we don't exercise, our inner self goes, hmm, it shuts down. Because it is a body that we need to have lots of attention on. We need to be focused upon ourselves and not constantly um, leaving ourselves. So go to bed at the same time every night. That makes your, your system and my system, it needs stability. So if I was going to give you an advice and if you slept like crap, try and go to bed for at least a week at 10 o'clock every night, each night, or even at 9 o'clock and just be lying there resting. In the first video, I also talked about the organ clock the organ clock, which is each organ has two hours, two hours where it's working. And at 2200 in the evening, our gold bladder starts working. So we need to be not sitting up because then our, our gold bladder can, can't regenerate, but we need to be lying like this, not completely lying down, but you can be sitting as well. Um, and we can't be physical active at that point. Maybe six, that's a bit different. <laughs> But, but physical, physical, high physical activity overstimulates the gallbladder and our mind and our body, and I will mention this later. Um, so, go to bed at a certain time, at, at a specific, specific time every night. And, just to cover it up, to make it more easy for you, Lights. Do you remember me mentioning in, in, in the first video that we have melatonin production in our brain? Melatonin is pills that we can take if we have a jet light because the melatonin will balance the, 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 the inner curtains we have on the inside of our brain. So melatonin, I just grounded myself as you can hear on my voice. Ooh, if you would like to ground yourself and open your body and learn how to protect yourself, sign up for my newsletter. I'm going to put a link down there or maybe to, to your right on the screen, to one of the sides, there is a little box. If you sign up for my newsletter, I will send you a free gift on how to open your body using your hands and how to heal yourself. I will teach you how to protect yourself so you might sleep better. And I will also teach you how to ground yourself, which is so necessary, like you just heard me do, doing, which changed my voice. Lights. We can't sleep if it's so, yeah, if it's filled with sunshine. And that, I can't remember if it produces more melatonin when it's dark or light, but I hope you get the point, just have a look at, on Google. But melatonin works like when it's bright, the brain wakes up. And when it becomes darker, the brain goes to sleep as well. It gets, it gets tired. So what I would advise for you is, that's an error that says turn down the lights. So around 8 or 9, Turn down the lines, to draw the curtains like I'm going to do now. Look, I'm going to turn. So now my inner self and my body and my brain would say, "Ah, oh, I'm soon going to go to bed, so I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, go to sleep." So yeah, turn down the lights, sleep in a room where. The curtains are pulled, so your inner system knows when to go up and when to go to sleep. Or as I said in the first video, use a towel or a t-shirt to cover up your eyes, so your inner system knows what to do. That is, that, that will make a huge difference for you, I know that. In order for you to sleep well, you should, is that it's called decrease, right? You should and shall decrease your mental activity.
Because what is most often the problem when you and I are going to go to sleep is that we have been mentally overstimulated. We, we do not, we're not connected with ourselves, with our body. So not for my sake, but for your sake, turn down all mental activity, which leads me to... Have a look. That means turn down the working. Shut off your computer. And I would say at a le- uh, at 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 oh, uh, I can't say that in English. From oh eight hundred in the evening, twenty two hundred. I am an ex soldier. Um, I used to be a lance corporal in the army, and sometimes it was like hell because I didn't sleep that well. So when I was gonna go watch uh, going on guard uh, all night long. I didn't function the next day, so I know how essential it is to, to, to sleep well. Because if we don't sleep well, we get exhausted, we get overwhelmed, we get irritated, we get frustrated, we have a low tolerance, and we might even get um, very sensitive and vulnerable because we need to sleep well in order to be grounded, which I'm going to teach you all about in the next third video. Turn down the work because works overstimulates our mind. And you can't see it, but my arm is right up here. Turn down eating. Oh, you can't see it from my big head. I'm sorry. Stop eating. What is actually interesting, and I, I don't know if you're, you're aware of it. Oh, I need to ground myself because I get so excited. I'm sorry. Our belly is connected to the mind. So if something is going on, many people, I don't know if you know that, eat to cover up their feelings and emotions. So the, 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 the stomach and the mind and the emotional part within us is connected. So if we eat too late, our belly would be going and our body can't sleep. Because the, 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 the stomach needs rest so that when we go to bed two, two hours later, everything is, is calm. It takes about two or three. No, it, it, we're supposed to digest our food within an hour. But if you don't eat well or if you eat too much and you, if you mix up carbohydrate, carbohydrates, and proteins and stuff like that, that can take from 4 up until 21 hours for your stomach to digest your food, which isn't that healthy. Because I live after the fit for life, uh, the way of living, where I eat vegetables and carbohydrates, I eat vegetables and protein, but I do not mix protein and carbohydrates or, or fruit. Yeah. So, if you can, after 8, not chocolate, no, but start eating until t- uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. And then after that, you, you, you can eat a little tomatoes or some red pepper. No, no chili, because it's overstimulating your system and your belly. Um, you might have a little cup of soup. That would be okay. Um, carrots, not that much, because again, you, it takes a lot of effort to digest um, carrots, um, a little bit of fruit, just a little bit from after 8 until you go to bed. Because another thing is that what you eat until like from, from 8 until you go to bed, your, burn, your, 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 your body can't burn that food until the next day, so it, 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 it gets caught up as, 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 as fat in our body. Oh, I do hope I make myself understandable because I've, I've never spoken about nutrition in English and I apologize. So, the next good advice I'm going to give you is no alcohol. If you have one drink, it takes off two and a half hour of your sleep. And alcohol is not organic or natural and it goes in and overstimulates our system. So it might hmm, calm, you na- calm you down at this very moment, but in, in, in about two and a half hour your, your system goes <laughs> because it's, it has to get rid of all the calories and all the 
uh, non-organic things that are in, in the alcohol. I do know that sounds strange and I apologize, but it's hard to explain. But just try avoid the alcohol and wait until the fourth video because I am going to teach you how to manipulate your system in a good way so you sleep better during the night. And, 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 and... Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking after eight because you need to understimulate yourself. You need to ground yourself and land yourself. And sleeping increases and builds up energy. It stimulates you. Um, so yeah, do what you can to understimulate and ground yourself using, for example, mindfulness methods. I'm going to power it up again. Turn down sports at a high speed. Can you see it? I'm sorry for the... When you and I do exercises which is so good for our body and our mind, but if you and I do exercise, exercising at a high speed, we produce adrenaline and we get all hyper and we get all excited. Yeah, you can see I've been a boxer on the national team, the Danish national team. I love, I love exercising. And, but if you exercise too late, your system is still like that, all hyper, when you're going to go to bed. So, well, sex is good. <laughs> I, I, I do have some experience with that though, even though it's quite some years ago. Oh shit, did I just say that? Oh look, I'm blushing! Hmm. Fuck, nothing to do about that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna turn away in my shame. Turn down the noises. Use for example what I said in the first video, earplugs. Because if there's too much noise, you get too attentive and your inner system goes like this and you get, you get hyper again. So turn down the television, turn down the talking, turn down all that activates your brain, brain and mind cells. I'm going to, oh shit, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in a hurry. Turn down electromagnetic things. I'm just going to go for a run, one, one second. Wash my shoes. I just forgot about something because I have all these magnet products from Nikon. If I don't have them under my computer, I feel the, the, the electromagnetic energies that comes out for com the computer and they overstimulate me and that is why I need to ground myself listening to this video. Um, so these these products I always wear these in my shoes. They pick up on and eliminate electromagnetic radiation. I'm going to mention this in the fourth video as well and, and send you links. Um, this grounds you, this heals you, this has infrared structure in it. They are always warm like my body. They are 37 degrees warm. So, yeah, turn down the electromagnetic radiation because they make your your energies and my energies goes like this but too many electromagnetic radiation makes the energies go the other way like this and we can't feel our hunger we can't sleep we can't calm down I'm just gonna put put this one under the video again under the computer like that and then I'm gonna cover up with that one and hurry up we get to the next part. No, it is supposed to be there. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait for me. Ooh. Yeah, in German, I mentioned that. Yeah, so the electric, electromagnetic radiation overstimulates your system and my system so we can't calm down. That is why I can't wait to share with you in my fourth video everything that can prevent these elect electromagnetic radiations things. So, next one. What you can do to sleep better is to do reading, not work reading that stimulates your brain, 
because we need to make this one shut up. <laughs> so do Sudoku, do crosswords. I got it in the, in the first video, but I couldn't say crosswords. I got it now. Um, oh shit. So do reading, do Sudoku or do crosswords because they will, um, that will strengthen your mind and your concentration. It will increase your concentration, which calms you down, actually. So it calms you down where work activity and speaking and sports and alcohol and stuff like that <gasps> builds up energy. It makes you go all hyper. So that one will decrease your brain activity. Calm music. Oh, can you see it? No, you can't. My big head. I'm going to go over here. Calm music. Calms you down. Of course, you get that. Classical music, Mike Rowland, Enya, or healing music. I have a, um, I have an English CD which heals and balances all your systems, and that can calm you down as well. But I haven't had the chance to have it translated into English because some of the mantras are so... Yeah, perhaps someday, but I do have a Danish CD that can help you sleep better. So, the next one. Warmth. 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 What a funny word. A hot shower calms you, clears your aura and your body. So when I used to work uh, at, a, at a children's home for kids who have had a horrible life and I got home and I could feel all the children in my heart and I was a bit overstimulated, I took a warm bath. A warm bath will open your mind so that you're not that mental. Um, that would be good. And again, yeah, even though I said in the other video, sleep in a cold room, but sleeping under a warm blanket is good and comforting because that makes your inner self relax. The next good advice is, I love this one, look what I've drawn, empty your head, have a notebook, when you go to bed and you get an idea, take the paper, write it down, a notebook, not a computer, no, <laughs> have a notebook to empty and clear your mind, if you wake up thinking about something during the night, instead of lying there thinking about it, empty your head. And. Do you know what? I'm done. So what are we going to talk about before I tell you what the last part is? Hmm. What should I talk about? How I got rid of all my sadness, my sorrow, my being hypersensitive, sensitive. how I got rid of all my self-sabotage, um, how I got free to be who I am. Well, I developed my own regression therapy technique to find out where things are stuck in my body. Um, even though I've been sitting in a wheelchair and I'm not supposed to be capable... I, look, here's a scar. I'm not supposed to stretch this arm, but I can almost do it because of all these magnet products. Oh. I'm tired, so I'm going to end the video now so I'm not overstimulated when I go to bed. <laughs> Look, here. Open your stomach. Uh, I'm just going to write something down. Da -da -da -da. I need a thing. Look, this is my name. And after that dot, simply roll. Well, I'm not that stupid, and you are neither. I'm going to send you a link. It's either there, or the link is out here, where you can sign up for my newsletter and receive... How do you do that? Huh? And receive, receive an exercise on how to open your body, open your stomach, and get grounded. So you get that for free if you sign up for my newsletter. So, there. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have enjoyed the video, even though it was a bit unstructured because I'm a bit tired today. There was a full moon this Sunday. 
We just entered a new era, the 1st of March, and as you can hear, I'm intuitive. I'm born a psychic. I had the ability to see right through you with my x-ray. I can see your past lives. Um, I can see and hear everything that has been going on in your childhood and what is going on with the, uh, uh, between you and others. I'm going to stop now. Thank you so much for listening. Please do share. I would love that. I love sharing and giving. Oh, I get emotional. I'm sorry. Share the video if you like. I would just love for more people out in the world to sleep better during the night. Why do I get emotional? I'm sorry. Because I do want that each one of us in the whole wide world sleep better during the night. I want the whole world to feel good about who they are. I want every person in the world, I have to say it, to feel good about how they are. I want every person in the whole world to feel good and be healthy. So please do share if you'd like. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. And see you at the next video, the third, third video, which is going to be about phys physica physically, physically, <laughs> the body. Bye.